Hey guys, welcome back to SOLIDWORKS tutorials and in this video, I'll show you how to design a keychain in SOLIDWORKS. As usual, we'll go with a new document here and um, it is going to be part. So here is the work plane. Go to sketch and select any of the plane. For now, I'm selecting front plane. Most of the keychains, if you see, they, are, they usually have a rectangular cross section. So for that purpose, we'll take a rectangle here and then uh, you have to draw a rectangle of any size. What I'll do is I'll just change the dimension for this. Now click on this line and here you can see the parameters. Just make it, uh, I'll make it some 50 or I'll just make it some 30. And coming to this line, just click on the line and you'll see the length of it. What I'll do is I'll just make it. 70 now this is done so after this we need to make an extruded boss or like we need some extrusion so for that purpose we can go to extruded boss or base and this is and the thickness of this is 10 mm i mean the extruded depth we don't need a keychain of this much of thickness what i can do is i can make it 2.5 and then click on accept now we are done with this and what we have to do is we have to go to normal plane now i want to write something over here so it's like uh, let us say i want to write write my name or some kind of s letter or something i just want it inside the keychain for that purpose just go to extruded cut and then click the plane now this plane is selected now the plane is selected and we can write the text here all right solid so here we have solid but if you see this like if you see this part the size of the text is very small and we want it a bit larger or for example if you want to cover the whole kitchen with text or else at least a major part of it you can unselect this use document font and then go to font now if you go to font you can change the text style and also you can vary the size here for now what i'll do is i'll just go with uh, stencil as i want to make a hole i go with stencil because this is the perfect uh, font style for holes and units i'll just make it as somewhat like 10 mm or something like that yeah this looks pretty good and uh, now we'll go with accept so we have accepted this and here we wrote a solid thing now I'll just drag this thing up and I'll keep it somewhere over here or I can also so if you see this point so this point is the origin point for this point is the origin point for solid you can click on this and you can move it from one place to other place so if you just drag this point you can very well displace the text from one place to another yeah now we are done with this mm. we don't have to change anything all you have to do is just click on exit sketch now once you click on exit sketch uh, if you check this direction one tab you will see blind Initially it was blind. You can see other options like through all, through all, both, up to next, up to vertex. For now it is on blind. What we have to do is we have to select through all. Now if we see this, it is towards that side and uh, I'll just click on this. Now, if you see this guys, uh, you are having a hole which is written as solid here. So just go with the normal view so that you can very well draw something over here. For now I want a kind of hole here uh, from 3 distance, 3 mm from here, 3 mm from here. What I can do is I can just click on sketch again and then I'll go to sketch and now we have to select the plane. This is going to be our plane. Click on circle and then draw a random circle on this surface and the dimensions are going to be here the radius is 0 0.97 what i'll do is i'll make the radius as 1 1.1 1 
I'll make it 1.5 yes or else one is fine I guess so I'll make it one and click on this now we need this circle or we need this hole perfectly aligned for that purpose what you can do is uh, go to smart dimension and then click on this point the center point of the circle and click on the line now you'll see the distance the distance is about five 4.45 what we'll do is we'll just make it four and then if you see this black colored indication it means that the point is fixed means the distance between this and this center point is fixed and now we have to fix the distance between the center point and this line for that again go to smart dimension and then click on this uh, center point and then click on this so the distance is 3.9 will make it 4 again here later you can delete this dimensions or else if you even if you don't want to delete the dimensions that's fine you can directly go with that now before exiting the sketch you just go to extruded cut you just select that extruded cut option and again make it through all now click on this line now we have a hole here and the sharp edges here looks a bit ugly so what we can do is we can give like we can add some curved shape over there for that purpose uh, just go to fillet and uh, in fillet there is full preview here you can usually it is partial preview i guess uh, now you have will just select full preview here yes so that is done and uh, we need to add fillets uh, what we'll do is we'll just add four fillets on four edges one is here and one is here right so first select this and by default it is somewhat like a 10 mm we'll make it 5 yes and then uh, in a similar way we'll also select the other 4 sorry the other 3 done so now this looks a bit uh, proper and uh, uh, guys if you want to add fillets i mean if you want a curved surface or a better finishing you can also add fillets to this particular point like this some uh, here and here somewhat like that you can also add uh, curved surfaces over here or uh, you can also make a groove like structure over here this way you can make a keychain and if you want to get it printed you can do it by means of a 3d printer you can uh, very well export the .stl file from this and later you can use any slicing software of uh, your choice this is all for now guys thanks for watching have a great day bye bye